and we are live a quick hello to my guests sanat fatak hi welcome back to the channel and amrita welcome for the first time i'm so glad to have you here thank you thank you sanat i think that people already know you a little bit so i'm going to start with amrita first amrita hi and can you introduce yourself to the chat just tell us about yourself sure uh, hi everybody my name is amrita arulraj i am from bombay i am a user experience designer or a ux designer hmm. which means that i design apps and websites uh i work with an e-commerce brand and that's that's my day job and besides that i'm a dancer and a calligraphy artist wow and uh, i'm also very thankful that i'm here today yay okay that is a lot so oh, i'm you... also i'm also an avid uh, procrastinator <laughs> that's the reason why you're here that's yeah. your qualification for being yeah. on the show yes. today <laughs> that's my certificate and uh, sanat uh, hi can you just say hi to the chat please hi chat <laughs> how's everyone <laughs> <laughs> you're procrastinating on your introduction so i am a friend of siddharth so i've been here before yeah. um i am an immunologist i wish i had a list of things to say there like what's your that. day job and <laughs> night job <laughs> my night i wish i had a night job oh god i'm feeling very uh, under the family now. stream <laughs> 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 feeling very inadequate sorry <laughs> And actually, since we have started talking about neuroscience, the one recurring theme, apart from dreams, was this one. That perfectly brings us to the next last bit. Ki abhi kare kya? What do you do about it? How do you how do you solve the procrastination problem? If it's not a problem, actually, that's step one. Let's stop calling it a problem. I think we yeah. have established. Yeah. Hey, you tell my mom that. Okay. <laughs> She thinks it's a problem. I love it. No, but we have established that it. we it's not our fault really yeah. this whole this whole stream has been one long way of convincing myself that listen <laughs> guys <laughs> and the more people i convince them the more comfortable i am yeah it's nice please continue <laughs> yes how do you solve it what do you do now how do you get around this problem uh, shit how do you get around this issue how do you stop procrastinating Amrita Um how do I you do it this is I don't what makes you think I'm successful like, because me. no because you do a lot of things and you have managed yeah, to do you them you have a night job and things that's yeah. the hack right i have like three interesting things i i like yeah. my job like i like what i do mm. so that's interesting to me i dance and i make art and all three of these things i genuinely enjoy so when i'm doing one thing to procrastinate the to other things i am not procrastinating at all actually i'm doing the third thing i love that that's a hack that i found out uh, excellent. for the lockdown excellent can i just write that down hold on i really love that okay so uh what did you do what is your hack exactly i pick a x number of things that i like in my case three things that i genuinely like and enjoy doing in the process without Lovely. having an end goal i enjoy the process of it correct so hack your distraction you are going to get distracted anyway you yeah. might as well choose in might advance well. right uh, what you are going to get distracted by so choose your procrastination lovely yeah. okay. but also i want to point out here that it for example the latest thing i picked up was trying to learn the ukulele mm -hmm. um i knew that i will have some sort of dopamine hit and that i will get some success because i have a basic sense of rhythm and music sure like i wouldn't have picked up a say a sitar or something like that because mm. i would not have been able to ha. pick it up that fast or you know learn it that quick so i did pick something up that was easy to learn but also like the enough amount of challenge lovely so even better so you chose your procrastination to make sure that you do get a dopamine hit very quickly Yes, I'm achieved that. Yeah. Excellent. No, this is such a like an instinctively such a sensible thing to do, and uh, I have one more thing to say about choosing your procrastination. You should ideally pick things that are additive. So my most uh, like my biggest problem with our current choices of distraction is that you spend three hours on Facebook. 
and then you spend three hours tomorrow and then you sp spend three hours next week and today's three hours make no difference to right next week's three hours yeah so Correct. if you're going to pick up a distraction pick up something that gets added on top of each other because anything will uh, build up to something great if you keep doing it so sure. ukulele ho writing a book ho it doesn't matter really yeah uh sanat what are your hacks yeah so um making a timetable okay mm, excellent that that's my major hack on how do you think that works so at least i have it in front of me of what i am supposed to do mm -hmm. it defines things yeah and it's easier to procrastinate if i don't even know the uh, scope and the volume of yeah. things that i am supposed to do huh so, so yeah correct okay so you you have, you have to acknowledge your tasks all the time like in it's in front of you correct. and uh yeah and then uh, when i have a timetable and i get things done then you i get the sort of short term happiness that i've done something which was done meant for today rather Excellent. if i have to read an entire textbook in a month yeah. um i get the happiness that i've read two chapters today that time. lovely so there are there are two things actually so you have, there are two hacks that you did uh one is that instead of the long term dopamine kick in the end okay. you cut it down into small yeah. small pieces yeah. and made it so that so that every yeah. day you're getting a little bit every day i have a glass of dopamine yes rather than binge on it binge on it later and throw up mm. uh yeah. <laughs> and another thing is this this aspect this time perception aspect because like i said we are not really good at calculating time so we are much better at being aware of the present and the minute you go into the future it sort of starts blurring like yeah what, like i sleep for 5 minutes and becomes more abstract was. no what is the difference between 2 years into the future and 3 years into the future like a year is a long time when you're living it but in the future like 2023 and 2024 are like huh it's like almost yeah. one one day apart yeah right you can't you can't feel the year so yeah. if and you know that so if you know that then one thing you can do is with a timetable you could cut down your units of time yeah so instead of saying that i have one month to do this say i have one hour to one, do this one hour to do something smaller smaller and similarly uh, just like how you perceive of breaks and dopamine also in large units of time you don't need to do that because dopamine is dopamine so if you have half an hour study session and 5 minute of break uh yeah you it is still dopamine you will still feel that pleasure as opposed to one day of studying and then one day of break okay right so then your efficiency is much more if you cut it down into smaller pieces and uh, yeah so what about 5 minutes of studying and 2 hours of break <laughs> if you can pull it off <laughs> well, if... that's what usually happens so. <laughs> yes but are you aware of it <laughs> if you are if you are okay with it then great yeah uh and the last thing so that's these are like three awesome things so one is uh pick your distraction yeah. hack your distraction hack your time perception hack your dopamine uh input so basically small small doses so here you are actually making it like social media yeah yeah like you're converting your basic job into social media okay yeah uh one thing i thought of was how you can gamify yourself like you uh, amra you mentioned the gamification at the start of education education yeah. so you can do that for everything so what are the main characteristics of games like when you play game lovely awesome competition huge huge point so we normally don't like to talk about competition it's like a negative yeah. thing but uh, for the brain evolutionarily competition is everything because resources are limited yeah 
you need to fight with the remaining tribes to get that right. you know remaining food whatever it is and fight for your mate fight for everything basically yeah so that whole limbic part the piche ka everything is wired for competition so you don't need to make it like negative competition but if nothing else compete with yourself if you're not comfortable right. competing with anyone else time yourself like say that i finish one chapter in one day versus two days or whatever but gamification and second is uh, investment and reward i think so. yeah so one is this uh, like small doses of dopamine, dopamine correct in games every small thing you get a reward so if yeah. you manage to make a system of working where every small thing does give you a reward that doesn't distract you actually makes you do it more yeah then that's what social media does right like you get points and everything yeah and uh, the last thing is guilt because that is just um uh, counter intuitive so that yeah. last the last point of uh, how to deal with procrastination is how you can just acknowledge it so just you know acknowledge yeah. procrastination and harness your guilt harness it like be aware that the odds were always against you <laughs> there is the idea of planning for your future is evolutionarily a very very recent phenomenon and uh, yeah dude it's fine it's i am a, a potato yeah. it's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also we are so sure like right so we are so sure that the what this part of your brain is saying this f part of your brain is saying is what is good for you yeah yeah and what this part of the saying is this part of the brain is saying is bad why are you so sure it so for example this part of the brain is saying that there is a history tech, history exam in one month and you need to study for it and this part of the brain is saying that let us we for this part of the brain you are still in the jungle you, yeah. they don't even know that there is a history exam history textbook yeah so in right. the jungle it's all about look around Hmm. what is happening you know what is behind that tree what is what is going to attack you and what is moving there and what is moving usually is your instagram feed notifications yeah so look there what is there is there something interesting going on is there something valuable going on okay. so as far as the limbic system is concerned it is just picking up information and your pfc is also telling you to pick up information but different information but yeah Now how do we know which one is more important really i mean really really so the present information is very important for you for current survival it's yeah. also tangible right you can see it right? what you know it's yeah. there whatever the, present, the current yeah the present yeah what yeah. you are foreseeing is not is tangible abstract. yet you are yeah. you are assuming that if i put x amount of effort then yeah. i will get y results yes so it may or may not happen it may or may you, not you happen. probably think it's good because it's still imaginary right if i do all these things right yeah. the result will be good as yeah. per my train of thought hmm. that's why probably it always seems the future always seems brighter because <laughs> to do the right things obviously the right things will yeah. happen the oh promise my god <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you and what are you saying <laughs> your mom is like dekho kya kya badi baatein kar rahi <laughs> बड़ी बातें तो आई डू एनीवे बट जस्ट लाइक आई एम हैविंग रियलाइजेशंस एज लाइक द फ्यूचर सीम्स ब्राइट ओनली बिकॉज़ इट्स एन इमेजिनेशन दैट्स ऑल नथिंग टू डू विद योर स्किल्स या यू आर ओवर सेलिंग योरसेल्फ यू आर लाइक द कार सेल्समैन लाइक नहीं नहीं ले लो ले लो चलेगा 10 साल चलेगा नो सो द पॉइंट इज दैट इफ यू आर प्रोक्रेस्टिनेटिंग that means that now let us let us not let us stop dividing you into like frontal and uh, limbic and all if this is you which mm. it is sort of mm. at some level then that means that overall like this plus this you are not convinced that yeah. this is more important for whatever right. reason right you are not convinced that this is more important you think Like the overall Correct. part of you, yeah. Correct. So I mean, it's heavier in the scale when 
the now is heavier in the scale than your procrastinating correct so yeah. then that means that there is a small part of you that is feeling guilty about it but then the majority wins right correct the majority yeah. thinks that this is more important so if you are procrastinating rather than you know start beating yourself up i think it's important yeah. to know what exactly do you feel feel like what yeah. do you value really i mean yeah. not what your teachers want you to value and all of that what do you value really yeah and procrastination helps you in deciding what's really important for you correct and that's an important uh, discussion to have with yourself right because otherwise yeah. you're just doing stuff that other people want you to do right hmm. okay Uh, yeah. Sanat, thank you so much. Amrita, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. I it had was, a great you. time. Yes, it was yes. awesome having Lots you guys. Lots of learning. Lots of learning. Yes. All right, Chad. Thank you so much for being such a lovely group to talk to. All right, chalo. I'll see you all. Okay. See you. Bye.